A few weeks ago I started using the Upright Go and I promised I'd give an update after using it for a bit. I've been putting off making this update for a few weeks now because I was waiting to see a noticeable improvement in my posture. The Upright team say you'll see a noticeable improvement in two weeks of using this device, which is quite a bold claim. That brings me to the first point of my review. Within the first two weeks of owning this device, I barely used it. This was mostly because I forgot to or because I wasn't planning on sitting at my desk all day. But a really annoying problem with the device is that the battery discharges quite fast when not in use. I've found that it lasts about 8 hours or so in use, but more than once I've had it fully charged, used it for about 2 hours, and then not used it for 2 or 3 days, and when I come back to it on the 4th day, the battery is depleted and it needs charging, so I have to plug it back in and wait for it to charge again, and end up not using it for another day. And very quickly I fell out of the habit of using it. The device is comfortable and very lightweight, you can't really feel it and you can easily forget that it's there, that is if it's not buzzing at you. The sticky pads are really good, the device doesn't feel like it'll fall off or even get knocked off your back. I've been using the same sticky pad for about 20 days now and it's still sticky. It is starting to lose its stick though but I think it'll last another 10 days. I cleaned it once with the provided alcohol wipe as it was getting grubby. Here are the before and after shots of cleaning. I don't think it made much of a difference to its stickiness but it did make it slightly less gross. You have to make sure you put the device away properly when you're not using it as you wouldn't want the sticky pad gathering dust. In training mode the device vibrates to get you to correct your posture and in tracking mode it just tracks whether or not you're slouching or not and doesn't vibrate to correct you. I've not tried using this device whilst walking somewhere but if you spend a lot of time sitting at a computer it's quite useful. But it can be very annoying when moving around your house. If you lean over to wash your hands in the sink or whilst you're making your sandwich for lunch it'll start buzzing at you. If you try to pick something up off the floor or go to the toilet to take a shit it detects you as slouching. I think if you sit at a computer all day it's perfect but if you have a more hands-on job like an artist leaning over a canvas or a tablet or fiddling with some electronics on your desk then it wouldn't be so useful. Even when you look at your phone you generally hold it around your chest and look down at it and the upright go will start buzzing at you. You have to start using your phone in a very unnatural way even when you're using the upright go app. Which brings me on to calibration. I found calibrating the device can also be a problem. You sit or stand upright and then press the calibrate button on the app and let it know what upright is. If you watched my previous video where I started using the device for the first time, I was actually not completely upright when I calibrated it even though I felt like I was. Unless you calibrate it in the mirror I don't see how you're supposed to know whether you've calibrated it properly. Sometimes I calibrate it to what I think is upright but later it'll be buzzing at me, maybe because I calibrated it whilst I was leaning back a bit and now that I am upright it thinks I'm leaning forward. I don't know, I can't see myself from a third person perspective so it's really difficult to know. You have to calibrate it every time you put it on of course and it can be quite different as to how it works depending on where you put it on your back. If you put it high up on your back, almost at your neck, it might start buzzing when you look down at your phone, even though your back might be straight and you're not really slouching. If you put it too low on your back then it might not detect when your neck is slouching. It also detects you as slouching if you lean forward, which I sometimes do even though my back is straight. It's almost as if you need one sensor on your upper back and one on your neck, and then it could detect if you're slouching and also detect when you're leaning forward or picking something up. It's been good to see the app has been improving, when I first used it there were some UI problems and some connection issues, but they seem to have fixed these now. They also released the stat screen since my previous video, but unfortunately I find these to be really useless. The only stat it tells you is how long you've been upright versus slouched with a pie chart, how long you've been using training mode versus tracking mode in a pie chart, and then a bar chart of your usage for each day of your training plan. And since it buzzes when I start slouching in training mode, I'm usually upright 100% of the time. It's just not very useful information. It doesn't tell me anything interesting like how long I stay upright before I regress to a slouching position again, or how many times per hour or per day that I regress to a slouching position, or some data on how my posture is improving, like a chart of how long I spend slouching each day over the last month. The stats don't sync up with a website or anything so I can only view them on the app, and I just have this really unhelpful way of looking at one day at a time, making it really difficult to see any trends in data over multiple days or weeks. The app sets out a training plan for you and this is something that's also not very helpful. 
It will set out a daily goal for you. For example, my training plan for day 16 was to do three sets of 10 minutes in training mode. So after you start this training plan, it just runs training mode. So this is the mode where it buzzes when you slouch. When first using the app, it gave no notification of when this time was up. So if your daily training plan was three sets of 10 minutes, you'd set it to run and then you'd just forget about it. You'd check the app 45 minutes later and it would just say on screen, 15 minutes of overtime. It didn't notify me at the end of each 10 minute set, so it wasn't really a training plan at all, it was just training mode. The app has since been updated a bit and now it displays a pop-up on screen when you've completed your first set, but you only see that pop-up if you've got your phone on and you're looking at it. It doesn't play a notification sound or anything like that to let you know if you're not looking at your phone. And it doesn't pause or switch to training mode after each set is complete. So the pop-up will appear on screen, saying you've completed your first set, but the timer might be still running into your second set. I have set the app to give me breaks periodically, so it switches from training mode to tracking mode to give me a break. But it doesn't tell you when it switches. It doesn't switch conveniently at the end of a 10 minute set, it'll just switch after a seemingly random amount of time. I've noticed sometimes that the Upright Go does a really long buzz, different to the one that tells you you're slouching, and I have no idea what this really long buzz means. I think it means it's automatically switched to tracking mode, but I don't know. It buzzes, and if I'm not busy, I'll pick up my phone to see what it's doing, and it'll just say something like, 3 minutes and 34 seconds into your training plan. And I don't know if it just switched to tracking mode, or if it was already in tracking mode. But this app can be easily improved over time, and most likely will be. People have complained that the vibration is too weak. I found it to be a bit weak, but not too bad. They did mention via email that they would try to fix this problem with a firmware update, but I have no idea how this would work as it seems like a hardware issue to me. The vibration isn't very loud, which is a good thing if you're trying to be discreet, but I guess that depends on how quiet your office is. So what you really want to know is, does it help? Does it improve your posture? I've been putting off making this review for a while now because I was waiting to see if the Upright Go was helping or not. But all I can say is, I really don't know. I can say it's not made a noticeable difference, but it might have improved my posture, just not noticeably. It definitely gets me into the habit of sitting upright more, which I think will improve my posture over a longer period of time if I continue to use it. But there isn't really a scientific way of checking if my posture is improved. If I look at myself in the mirror to check my posture, then I'm thinking about it too much and I'm artificially standing more upright and straight. The only way I can be satisfied is if I catch myself standing with good posture in the reflection in a shop window or the background of a photo, or some situation where I'm not thinking about my posture. Unfortunately, I can't give you a definitive answer. I can't say yes, this will definitely help fix your posture, and I also can't say no, this won't help you, it's a waste of money. All I can really tell you is that I'm mildly confident that this will help over the long term.